pump track mistakes. I'm on this rad indoor pump track at Fly Up 417, and it's a pretty rad one. So I'm gonna show you a few mistakes and how to eliminate them so you can start to learn how to use a pump track really good and really fast. Here's mistake number one. All right, this is a super common mistake that I see riders doing when on a pump track, and that is not using their legs to generate the pump. They're kind of just using their arms, thinking that's gonna do it. Take a look at the slow-mo of me going through this straight. You can see my whole body working together, my upper body and lower body. It's the arms first, then the legs are following, then I'm pulsating, I'm generating power down the downside of that roller. So it's all about the legs as well as the arms working together, a bit like a piston, two pistons, going up and down, just like that, pushing, pulling, push, pull, push, pull. It's quite a demanding thing, but you just gotta use those legs in that pump track to generate your speed. Also, it is part of that technique. Right, this next rule is, um, this to be honest is everyone's hate, and that's pedaling on a pump track. A pump track's not all about pedaling. If you find yourself pedaling, it's because your technique is totally down the drain, you don't know how to use the pump, all those rollers on that pump track to generate speed. If you find yourself pedaling, and you're trying to learn how to pump on a pump track, I suggest you remove your chain, and it eliminates you trying to pedal. So I hate pedaling. I can actually start this whole pump track and generate a hell of a lot of speed just by rolling down this little hill here and into the pump track and just using that pumping motion to gain my speed. Just like this, look, no pedaling. No pedaling. You don't need to pedal to get a lot of speed. Now that moves on to my next one, and that is speed. Right, it's all well and good gaining a lot of speed down a big straight just like this one, but what happens when you come to a corner? All that power and speed that you've gained there kind of gets thrown away because you don't know how to navigate your way through a turn just like this with all that speed. So the best way to do this is Gradually build up your speed, build up on your confidence, on your speed through a straight like this. So when you come to a corner like here, you can work on that technique as well. So you can carry that speed, what you've generated there, through the turn and then down the next straight. So it's all about working slowly, not just going in full hammer time, because that's not gonna work. Body position, this is key when it's riding a pump track. Now, I'm gonna point out the wrong ones, and that's too much weight over the front. So your head is too far forward over the front of the wheel, and all your weight is on that front wheel. It's not good when it comes to riding the pump track. The other one is too much weight on the back, so you're leaning back too much. And when you're riding rollers, you're basically gonna end up looping out just like this. Likewise, if you're on the front, you're just gonna be diving. You're not gonna get that pop, that pump on the pump track. The correct one, is that aggressive body position. Your body weight is central to the bike. Your knees are bent, your elbows are bent, and out. You don't want to tuck your arms in. You want to be in the tack position and looking forward. And from there, you can shift your body weight front or back. Okay, line choice. This is a big mistake that people kind of tend to do, and it, when, and it comes to in the berms. And when you entering a berm, it all depends on your speed. If you're coming in really fast, you want to enter at a high, at a high point. But if you want to make the exit a high exit or a low exit, it all depends on your entry. So if you want to come with a low exit, you want to enter the berm at the highest point as possible as you can. Also, likewise, if you want to exit a berm quite high, it means you want to enter the berm at a low point. So you're entering a low point, and that's going to force you up to exit high. 
So when it comes to jumping a gap out of a berm, just like this one where you've got two rollers, but you can actually gap it. Now line choice comes into play here where you need to pick the right line so you can exit this turn where it's the most poppiest part of the berm so you can clear this with a nice smooth transition. So what I'm gonna do to get this is I'm gonna enter quite low and that means it's gonna force me out at the top of the berm at the end of it, which is gonna give me the most pop and I'm just gonna turn it and get into that roller. So if you wanna do this, line choice is key when you want to exit a turn as well. Like coming out the top of this is not very comfortable because it's gonna force you into this wall of graffiti, whereas you wanna come out of this berm quite low so you can aim straight down the line of these rollers into the next turn. Let me demonstrate on aggressively trying to ride a pump track. You kind of go somewhere, but nowhere. See, it doesn't work. You miss out all the pump, you miss up all your pumping skills, your rhythm, you don't have any flow, you're trying to fight against the rollers. That roller is built there for you to utilize, for you to gain more momentum, more speed. But using that pumping technique through a roller will generate more speed. The more relaxed you are, the more you can find that flow. jumping everything is it's all right it's pretty cool when you want to jump everything on a pump track but if you're casing all the time like that you probably find that if you want to gain more speed rolling through that section will be a way quicker way to gain more speed into the pump track but if you do want to jump everything you want to learn all these things and that brings on to line choice which leads me on to the speed leads me on to looking ahead flow and all that jazz to make these sort of jumps doable So there you go, there's a few common mistakes that people tend to do when they're riding a pump track. But if you're still struggling on how to use, how, how to maintain your pump and do the pump, click over here, Neil's got a great video on how to do that. Also, if you wanna see a pump track challenge, click over here and don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing out some rare content. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, like, and I'll see you at the next one. See ya!